Hi, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Friday. And here I am going to talk to you a little bit about nature because I, we do talk about freshwater fish and freshwater turtles. And it's good to know where your animals come from because I know some of my followers uh, come from Kentucky, come from Michigan, come from Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. And some people just ask me also on the Facebook group uh, because I do have four Facebook groups that I follow relating to freshwater fish and turtles. What happens when the pond freezes over as the Catcher in the Rye book delineates? Uh, what's important is to not worry about the pond freezing over, is to realize what's in the pond, what's going on in the pond and what's going around. So I know many people do live in landlocked areas where there is no ocean, which is even better because I'm doing freshwater. I want you to notice what is going on around you so you can uh, fix that and look at it and put it in your freshwater tank. In my case, I live in South Florida. You will see little animals such as these, such as my friend the duck. You will see ducks on the horizon there. And it is important to notice your lake or your stream or your river and see what actually lives around you. In my case, as you can see, mine is not a wide lake, but rather a long lake. People ask the question all the time, do I need uh, plants, live plants? I want you to see very carefully here that there are little fish living among the plants, the live plants. See it? You see them moving around? See them dancing around? That's why you have people like that who are coming to eat them. But it becomes more of a chore when, they, when these fish live among among the live plants that is why live plants are so vital to a fish tank and you notice how there's some live plants that go above the water as such that's why planted tanks are really the most natural and most uh, practical way to go when you are starting your tank and i love my shadow also it's very nice i feel like a groundhog I do live in South Florida, as I mentioned, and I want you to notice, don't worry about my shadow, is to notice that these fish, fish in general, sometimes they school. You probably see it right there, they're schooling. They're together, they're huddled, because when they huddle, oop, there they go, they're moving. You see, when they huddle, they are safer. It's more, that whole expression, safer in, in numbers, there's the perfect example of why you tend to want to keep differing fish I mean, excuse me, similar fish together because they will school and then they will swim together for safety. Again, I'm living in South Florida. Uh, very important that you notice what fish do. And here are fish, freshwater fish, live coming right at you, including my shadow, showing you how they actually school. Yet another perspective, another view of the tank, of the tank, that's what I call it, the pond or the lake because the lake is is rather large is rather large as you can see and this is literally right behind my house i want you to see that a lot of people say well what should i put in my on the bottom of my tank i personally don't care for anything on the bottom of my tank gravel rocks whatever but you notice that mother nature here has created some type of dirted lake you see it here dirted that's why that might be not be a bad idea for your for your fish tank uh you notice again the plants the plants keeping uh the the fish especially the baby fish in in one area sort of to keep everything under control but uh, a dirted tank may not be a bad idea as i walk to a different side of the lake i wanted to show you again my lovely animals I do live here in South Florida by the lake. Really important that you pay attention to what animals do live by your lake, your stream, your river, because uh, it's part of nature. It's part of the freshwater experience to encompass everything that's going on around you. This is another perspective of the lake uh, that I think is really important as well. You notice the amount of sun that there is, right? You notice that we do have water lilies along with my friend the duck. The water lilies 
those are all natural they have all kind of grown there and i've been watching them for the last five plus years that i've been living here and i do notice i'm not going to get in there obviously but those under those lilies that keeps that area cooler or and in essence more fish will tend to hide there the bigger fish will tend to hide there and also it just provide that kind of food uh shade and everything that they a fish might need in order to live so that's why these plants and the same thing should be going on in your fish tank uh should have some type of shade because you don't want absolute direct sunlight heat there goes my friend the uh, bird uh hitting them so even even as you live in a cold climate observe what's happening observe when the ice gets there how the, thick the ice gets there don't be jumping on that ice unless you know for sure how that ice is but see how it is because fish don't just say eh, it's i'm gonna go die no they live they they survive they thrive find out what's going on around you find your local stream river lake again see what's happening yet another perspective of the lake i'm underneath a huge tree here in South Florida. And I want you to notice that there are pieces of wood that actually fall into the lake, like this. You see, and again, you see how the plants tend to hang out, over, do an overhang. Uh, this is why in pet shops, you will see that they sell these things called driftwood. Driftwood will help to make your tank a little bit more natural, see more, uh, feel more pleasing to your local fish that you are going to put in your fish that you will be putting into your tank as you hear my lovely birds uh, chirping away you gotta love it that's nature symphony right there I want you to notice right here in this little area of the lake I want you to notice that green that's hanging out right over there that dark green floating ish right there that is algae that is why it is so important that Mother Nature tends to put a lot of live plants around to kind of minimize this algae, right? And so that is why, as you see the fish really having a little great old time over there, and eventually when they get bigger, they do head out into the deeper waters. But right now, that's where they are. And it's, again, don't be afraid looking at your area of the world, finding your local lake pond and seeing what you got oh and one last thing I wanted to show you and then I will call, call it a day this is what I wanted to show you this here was here from Hurricane Irma from 2017 uh, I, I think it's really important that you see this because I know uh, hobbyists are always trying to get it right getting it perfect getting it just right you don't because nature is perfect in its imperfections there you can see yes they did cut uh that tree trunk but you notice that it kind of left it and you notice that that kind of nature in the last three years has just kind of been rotting it away and doing its thing uh and again look at plants they just kind of stick out uh here we got here a, a palm frond uh falling off as birds are starting to call me out saying be quiet uh and the ducks here now, i want you to notice that, that it is perfect in its imperfection don't try to do too much to your fish tank. And that's all I got for you today. We are going to eventually talk about water quality and what to look for in water quality uh, and why it's important not to just say, hey, I have a lake, I have a stream, let's go grab some fish from the lake in the stream because that's not the case. But right now, right now, today, I wanted you to see, go, go. That's your, your YouTube assignment, go. Check out what's available, what is around you, see what you got, see why it's growing, how it's growing. Is it cold? Is it hot? Is, are there, is there ice? Are there ducks? Are there no ducks? What is happening? What do you see? Any, any grass, any plants? What do you see? And then you have a starting to get an idea of what your freshwater tank should look like. Thank you and have a great day.